not at the level of talking cash money right now. We just not. That's not what we're doing. We're not at the level just yet to talk that cash money. We just not. We just not. We're not there. We're not there yet. We're not there. We're not there. We're not there. We're not there yet. We're not at the point where we can sit up here and we can talk cash money. We, can, we can't talk that yin yang right now. We just can't. We can't talk that yin yang just yet. Just yet. We're not there yet. We, we still need a couple more pieces. We got the main two pieces in the head coach and the quarterback. We got the main two pieces. That's cool and all. We good right there. We got the main two pieces. But after that, we not there yet to talk that cash money. We not there yet to talk. We not we we ain't there yet. We ain't we ain't got we ain't, we ain't got that much in the bank. We ain't got that much in the bank. We, we we ain't got that much in the bank to talk that cash money just yet. We ain't there yet. Cause Zach Wilson didn't even want to play. And we let and we let him uh, um we, we we let him have a career game. Like, we keep letting quarterbacks have a career game against us, bro. Like, we, we, we realistically keep letting quarterbacks have a career game against us. Why? Why? Why why, why we do this? If it wasn't for, uh, what's his name? Um, if it wasn't for Bryce Young having a career, uh, his, first, his only game, his only win, uh, 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 first ever uh, career uh, game winning drive. You let uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, Trevor Lawrence had the most passing yards of his career. You let uh, uh, um, you let uh, um, uh, 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 um, what's his name from the Falcons? Desmond Ritter have you let Desmond Ritter throw for the most passing yards of his career. First time ever throwing for over three hundred yards. He gets benched two weeks later, but against you, he throws for over three hundred yards and gets a game and get, has a game winning drive. Again, like I say, you get let Bryce Young get his first ever win, career win, first ever career win, a game winning drive. You let what you call it, uh, 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 Trevor Lawrence throw for over three hundred yards against you, have her career day against against you. Then the Jets, Zach Wilson, the Jets offense hasn't scored more than it hasn't scored more than three touchdowns in the game. Well, hasn't scored more than two touchdowns in the game. None this season gets three against you, having never scored in this season, get, get touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. He does it coming out of halftime, has back-to-back -back drives against you, has a quarterback rating of 117, 301 yards, and two touchdowns against your defense. Why do we keep allowing this to happen? Why do we keep allowing this to happen, bro? We keep on allowing this to happen. Why? 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 And the thing is, the defense is not even a bad defense. But yet still, when it comes to this type of situation, we play low to competition. That's the reason why, um, from the beginning, I wanted this game to be a Monday night game. I really did. I, I, I really did. I really did. When they was talking about, they was flirting that, hey, we might be able to move this game to Monday night, whatever, whatever, whatever. I want that to happen. One, because I'm like, okay, I don't want the Texans to take the New York Jets lightly. I don't want them to sleep on the New York Jets. That's a good defense. I don't want them to sleep on the New York Jets. You put them on Monday night? It's going to be the only primetime game of the season. It's a Monday night game of the season. It's CJ's ever first career primetime game, first ever career Monday night football game. They're going to be hyped for that game. They're going to be hyped for the game. All the attention we should have did was put pressure on Zach Woods, especially in the second half. Especially, especially in the second half when they start moving the football up in that field. He should, he should start applying pressure. And he didn't do that. He should he should, he should have been starting to apply pressure and get Zach Wilson uh, flustered. Speaking of applying pressure and Zach Wilson being flustered or not being flustered, Willie Anson, what was that? Willie Anson, what was that? That uh, uh, um that roughing the passer, that might have been one of the worst plays of the day. That uh, that that that, 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 that roughing the passer, it was it was unnecessary, bad decision, and I, I agree with D'Amico sitting his ass down right there. Like, come here, sit down, you. You get over here. Sit down. Stand next to me. Stand right here next to me. Because that Wilson clearly got rid of the football, and you had enough time. You had enough time to take two or three steps to back off of him, and you laying right into him, bro. Like what was that? Like what was that? You uh, you high character guy, a guy we jumped up for. You played great last week. What was that? That was un to me, in my opinion, that was uncharacteristic of a Will Anderson. I know D'Amico don't teach that. And I don't think that was I don't think I don't think that was you. I don't think that was you. <laughs>